most people in America are looking for that magic. That magic is that man or that woman that allows you on your own to be magic. But because they're in your life, you feel the magic. There's only been one or two women outside my late Japanese spouse who could light me up like a Christmas tree. And openly, it's always funny how those relationships begin and what they can be. But then at some point, somebody who is selfish, somebody who is evil, somebody who is intentive, actually taints that relationship. And the love that is built gets destroyed on one end, leaving me empty in my head, not at all, in my heart, not at all, but in my soul. The whole vision and value of my work, Soul Keepers, a book I wrote and haven't fully adapted to audio files yet, is about how we have these soul strings in our life, and we have these relationships in our biological family that are either perfectly healthy or they're contrived. And then we go off into the world as adults, as we should, according to the legacy and lineage of the Bible, where a man goes off and makes a new family. And that new family helps him to thrive. I thrived because I had a Japanese family. We survived because I had a Japanese family. We had security because I had a Japanese family. But I personally thrived because of the love of my wife. When that started to wane, when she started to look at her life again, when she completed her several degrees that we paid for, her life shifted and changed, as did mine. 